Hello there everybody, once again, I am Dax Allred, and today we'll be discussing the baby card from my divinations videos. At the very end of this video, we will have a meditation that I will guide you through on this subject. So please stay tuned until then. As a side note, if you like what you're seeing here, please reach down there and click that like and subscribe button. And also, right up there, there's a bell icon. If you click that icon, YouTube will inform you of whenever I post a new video to this channel. So I would deeply appreciate it if you would do that as well. It will help out this channel a lot. So the baby meditation that we will be conducting at the very end of this video. Once again, this is a supplemental video. It's designed to go alongside the baby divinations video that I've already posted. And the baby divinations video is not just about a literal, beautiful little baby. The video is actually based around the concept that something new is coming into your life and this new thing. It's important. It will give you a lot of new responsibilities, more things that you have to be concerned with. However, you will enjoy doing this because you love the little guy. Whatever this new responsibility is that's coming into your life, you love it and so you are happily taking on the extra responsibility that this whatever it is will provide you. Now, of course, if divine providence is bringing you the message of the baby into your life, it could also mean a literal baby. It could mean that you will soon be responsible for the welfare of a brand new little human being. It could also mean many things besides that, though. The basic gist of the message is something profound is coming into your life that will give you a lot of new responsibilities, but you will happily take on these responsibilities because you love what it brings for you. This could mean anything from a job to a relationship to, once again, a real little sweetie, what you will hopefully hold in your hands a lot more carefully than this. So let's spend some time getting into the archetypal nature of the baby. Carl Jung, who, you know, famous psychologist, mostly known for dream psychology, he's known for that more than anything else, or at least among the circles of people that I travel, that's what he's most known for is his understanding of the dream time. And one thing that Carl Jung acknowledged is that really bad things have a tendency to happen to babies in dreams. And you have to look into your own heart, you have to look into your own gut. You need to determine for yourself what this means, if in fact this is even occurring in your dreams. You need to determine what the sign of the baby means in your life. Nobody can do that for you. I'm here to guide you along. I'm here to help you along. I designed the messages of the Divinations video so that it's divine providence that's actually sending you the message and not me. That's why all the Divination videos have the same thumbnails and they have the same title and the same intro sequences, is so that you're not clicking that consciously. It's divine providence that is sending you through all of the apparently identical videos in order to watch the one that you're supposed to be seeing. So it is important that you determine for yourself through the heart, not through the brain. The brain will try to deceive you. The brain is interested in justifying the act of doing whatever it is you want it to do. It's not interested in truth. The heart, however, is very interested in truth. It's the heart's primary concern. So you need to go into your heart to determine what this sign actually means for you. Now, 
in terms of the Jungian archetype of the baby, what do babies represent? They represent something that is completely helpless, completely harmless, and 100% reliant on you. Without you, this sweet, lovely gift will die. And it needs you completely. And a lot of this, from my perspective, deals with how you treat someone or something when you're the one who is in complete power. When you are in a position where you hold all the cards and this other whatever it is is completely at your mercy, what do you do? How do you treat them? That is the archetypal sign of the baby right there. You have this thing that is completely at your mercy in every way imaginable. How do you treat them? Because how you treat them says a lot about who you are. I think it's time to go on ahead and begin the meditation. I'm currently feeling as though I've said everything that I'm supposed to say on this video. So this will be the end of the discussion part. Let's get into the meditation. Now the first thing that we'll need to do is clear the mind and go to the body. Going to the body means that you are simply feeling every sensation your body is experiencing from head to toe. Right now up there at the top of that screen I am posting a link to a video I made that will teach you how to do this if you feel you need to. But now clear the mind and feel the sensation. And if you have any distractions it could be an itch, it could be a background noise, it could be me talking to you, pulling you out of your state of momentary bliss. Whatever it is, use it to your advantage. Find a way to take that distraction and use it to enhance your meditation instead of letting your meditation be broken by it. So, clear the mind. Feel the sensation. And if you lose that clarity of mind, if you lose the sensation, go right back to the center and start over again. Clear the mind. Feel the sensation. And delve into your heart. We will bring our attention into the heart. And we will search for anything in our heart that may be preventing us from the proper treatment of anyone and anything that is completely at our mercy. Find the places in your heart that wish this, whatever it is, harm. experience that feeling. Do not deny the feeling. Experience it and give that feeling permission to leave your heart when it is ready. Look for any place in your heart where you are afraid of the responsibilities that you are about to take on due to this 
literal or metaphorical baby that is coming into your life. Feel whatever it is. Experience the sensation. Do not deny the sensation. And give the sensation permission to leave your body when it is ready. Continue on with this meditation for as long as you feel you need to. I love you very much. Once again, I am Dax. Until next time.